Welcome back to the Navy Office of Community Outreach, Ship to Shore. I'm your host, Lieutenant Ian McConaughey, and I am here with Lieutenant Commander Brian Pike, who is the Deputy Director for Medical Programs for the Chemical and Biological Defense Program. How are you doing today, sir? Doing well, LT. Yourself? Fantastic. Uh, Millington, Tennessee, where are you? I'm sitting here at home in Washington, D.C. All right, nation's capital. But I bet that's not where you're from. What is your hometown? I uh, grew up in a small town in southwestern Virginia uh, named Withville uh, in Wythe County. My path to the Navy was uh, uh, very non-traditional, right? So I didn't even um, realize that the Navy had microbiologists uh, until very late in my career. I uh, did a PhD at the University of Southern California, uh, followed that up with a, a master's in public health and infectious disease epidemiology from Johns Hopkins, uh, and then it did a postdoc at UCLA. And it wasn't until I was doing that postdoc, uh, I was sitting uh, in Cameroon, actually, in Yonde, Cameroon, uh, uh, doing field work when a Navy captain came out to do a, a site visit because the Department of Defense was funding some of the work that was supporting my postdoc. And we were having dinner one night and he encouraged me to look at the Navy. Uh, and that was almost 10 years ago. Uh, and as he broke it out for me, it just made a lot of sense for me to to consider the Navy as a career, and, and here I am. As the Deputy Director for Medical Programs, so our office is tasked with developing new capabilities for the warfighter uh, so that they can fight and win in a chemical and biological contested environment. For example, uh, one of the things that uh, my particular department is tasked with, with is developing medical countermeasures. Uh, for example, access to vaccines against things like anthrax. Um, those are, were developed, uh, at least in part, uh, through the Chemical and Biological Defense Program. Um, you know, our office and the, the, the Chemical and Biological Defense Program writ large uh, was responsible for some of the very early technologies uh, that helped to uh, stem part of the tide of the pandemic. Uh, we developed some of the earliest diagnostic capability uh, that allowed us to go out and test our service members. Uh, and then at the same time, uh, we have a number of countermeasures uh, that were fielded very early uh, to help with uh, uh, therapeutics or, or therapeutics to, to help treat the disease. Now, I guess this, this is an important part to me and I, it, I imagine it is just for you. Um, family and friends, how does, does your relationship with your family and friends, how has that helped support you in your Navy career? Certainly, you know, it's often cliche, but you'll hear it said quite often that spouses really make uh, sacrifices. They're much, much more difficult than uh, those of us who are serving in uniform. I would not be able to, to have the career that I currently have, if not for my, my wife, Alexandra. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Um, and then of course, those sacrifices also flow down to um, our son, uh, Gabriel. Uh, he's just turned six recently. Uh, so, you know, it creates a lot of upheaval, uh, but at the same time, it affords him uh, some wonderful experiences uh, as well. Uh, you know, to date, I think he's been in something like 20 different countries. Um, so, but it, it comes at an expense too. And, and I can't speak enough to the, the sacrifices that, that they make and how grateful I am for the support that they lend to me.